Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to a new location. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm somewhere that I have never been before on the channel. In the actual fact, I don't think I've ever been here before in general. Today, I am in sunny Cumbria because today I'm here at Matt Johnson Prestige where I'm going to be getting uh, getting into something actually very cool and going for a little spin. I'm going to have a little look around here and point out some cars. Then we're going to go for a spin in something that has always interested me so it's gonna be an exciting video but let's have a little look around then because i bet some of you won't have heard of this place either and there's some absolute gems here we're actually up cumbria way and you must come and check this place out anyway let's have a little look around and get the camera away from my face so here we are then this then is a place i've seen on instagram many many times and my travels were taking me up this way more on that another time so i thought i'd pop in here so it's matt johnson prestige i've heard good things about these guys i've always wanted to pop in because what they do here so well is have an eclectic mix of cars. There's a lot of cool bits and bobs around and always a very, very nice mix. So we're gonna start outside, we're gonna have a little look and then we're gonna go inside because there's some really, really beautiful kit in there. And I'm gonna go and try and find that as well. Off the bat then, I'm gonna go for a spin in that. It's a car that has been intriguing me for years and believe it or not, I've never even sat in one, let alone driven one. And I do believe this is probably the best supercar you can buy for this level of money. I think they look amazing still. They're aging very well. They're actually getting better with age. And that actually applies to the i3 as well. Weird to throw them in the same sentence, but obviously they came around around the same sort of time. And weirdly as well, this design is actually now, what, decade old? but it still looks incredible. So big kudos to BMW on that. And I think it's finally time for me to go for a spin in one of these and discuss whether or not that is the best supercar for sub 50 grand. Anyway, we've got a 911 Carrera S here as well. Now you'll notice already what I was saying about the eclectic mix thing. You've got a 991, 911 Carrera S here as well. And you've got an AMG GTS, but behind it all, Shock horror, I'm gravitating towards an old Porsche. We have got here what looks like a G Series 911, much like my Targa. This is an actual fact, got the running gear from a 993 Carrera S inside it. You've got a G50 gearbox, but the running gear from a 993 Carrera S, a 3.6 in it, which is, I've been told, reliably, extraordinarily quick and Matt actually said it feels quicker than a 930 turbo a very very chaotic car but that looks absolutely lovely oh the doors open yes little wrist check Tudor FXD on today MN21 for those that are really really boring might even take this for a spin at some point although it is a billion degrees today it's potentially not that is very cool but obviously same dials as my g50 targa not the same steering wheel though very very nice car and i think that is 79k something like that but that is mega impact bumpers of course too going round outside then before i go and prod the camera in matt's face because matt and i have known each other for a little while you know, little instagram buddies for a while chaos 997 gt 3s turned up that is good that is good goods we like that we've got a aston martin vantage v12 s i love these absolutely love these i have filmed a video on one of these before a manual variant on one of these before i cannot disguise my love for these cars they're fantastic but all right v10 plus we've also got another v12 vantage this one is manual and it's currently for sale it's literally just come in that is wonderful that is wonderful and i think these will be good good news long term manual gearbox v12 in actually a very very small car and obviously the new vantage v12 um they're kind of ruined so this is the cool one to get only 86 i actually paid i think around that for my v8 which is half the car that this is, so that's very good news. However, one thing I do want to point out, if you're interested in a trade bid on your car, do not sell your car before speaking to these guys because they are desperate for stock. Loads of these things are sold and they need more stock desperately, so do get in touch. Right, let's head in then. So I'm gonna grab Matt because he's gonna have to talk me through that because I have no idea what that is. We do have a very nice 981 Cayman GT4 in here with all the correct bits. And this is just coming to stock as well. Ceramic brakes, fixed buckets, manual gearbox, of course, in the 981 GT4. Beautiful, absolutely 
lovely stuff. And next to it is a Rolls Royce Dawn. Chaps here are actually trying to do some work, but I'm just running around with the camera. Apologies for that. Um, that is circa 300K. But what has really caught my eye in here is this. This, of course, is a Ferrari 355 Spider. However, the difference being with this car, it has only done 7,000 miles and you guessed it of course that's why i'm honing in on it it's got a manual gearbox so 7,000 miles manual gearbox 355 spider wow and matt's told me whilst this is in here and it is technically for sale uh he doesn't really want to sell it so if you do really want it good luck prying it off him because he absolutely adores this car and he doesn't really want to sell it so there we go i love that beautiful it literally looks brand new also in here then we have got this now i'm not a million percent sure what this is so i know a guy that does hopefully he's in his office hello sir oh, looking very busy there how are you i'm uh, very busy very busy you got a pen and a piece of paper so yeah. porsche outside then talk us through it what's in there that is a 2.7 <laughs> rs back day evocation it is well it started life as a 930 just a normal uh, 930 SC actually um, and it was rebuilt by Strasser to be a, a lucky likey of a 2.7 RS but a fully hand built engine, it's got a race spec engine, everything's new, you can eat your dinner off it, it's just brand brand new, brand new paint job, brand new brake lines, brake disc pads, wheels, tyres, engine fully rebuilt to the highest of specifications and they've done a great great job of it because that thing is really quick, um, dyno.180 which is wow. good, good for one of those little things. Yeah and it weighs about as much as a crisp packet, so you can imagine it goes really well. Um, nice. And, yeah, the bad news for the viewing audience is, have you just taken a deposit on it? Sadly, yes. Okay, uh, so if you like that, if you like that out there, sorry ladies and gents, but it's gone. Go move there, quicker next time. To a lovely gentleman called Lee, who should be expected to stay delivery rather soon. Nice. All right, well, I'll let you go on with it then, if that's all right, and I'll, I'll, I'll scurry around and film some cars. No worries, I'll get back to this uh, piece of paper. Yeah, that looks like a really important piece of paper as well. Good work. Give it a yank, should be all right. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. You don't see those every day. You certainly don't. So, what have we got there then? It's a quarter of a million quid's worth. I know that at least. Indeed. It is a proper Group B uh, Metro 6R4. Can I go look at it closer? Yeah, absolutely can. We'll get it out in a minute, but until such time, you may uh, wander around. Oh my goodness. So, someone will be winning a ride in this car. So, I'll drop the details below, but effectively, if you turn up to Matt Johnson Prestige and you get yourself a ticket, then somebody with a ticket will win a ride in this car. That is once in a lifetime. Weirdly, I was actually in one of these a few weeks ago. That's bizarre, isn't it? Like, it I've is. never even seen one in the metal. It's quite crazy. And it, it wasn't this one, but I can no. promise you, I have never laughed so much in my entire life. I was crying with laughter around the rally stage. It was honestly I ridiculous. Have, I have driven it. It is absolutely bonkers. You know, on the road as well, so I've driven it on the road. It is crazy. Yeah, my one wasn't road legal. This has actually got plates on it as well. Yeah, you can drive this on the road. That is. And importantly, all we're doing this for is to raise money for St Mary's Hospice. Yes. Uh, the local uh, charity that we're really, really willing to support. Uh, so all the, all the ticket money will go to them. That's why we're doing it effectively. But a very, very cool prize and one we are excited to launch very soon. Amazing. So yeah, all proceeds will go to the local cancer hospice. A cause uh, very close to a lot of the guys here's hearts. So uh, make sure you get in the mix for that. It's once in a lifetime, really. I mean, find another, to be honest with you. Let's get out then. She's out the truck then. This is absolutely ridiculous. As I say, quarter of a million quid's worth. And one of you have been going for a ride in this car, whilst also helping the local cancer hospice. Huge shout to the chap that's brought this car down for us to have a look at. And also we'll be taking it out for the lucky winner. That is absolutely mental. I wish you could, I wish the like smell of vision was a thing. I wish you could smell it. It literally smells like a petrol station in there. It's complete chaos. What a thing.
what a thing. I feel very lucky to be having a look at this. Maybe they'll let me go in it as well next time I'm down here. That is insane. That must be well over two metres wide. Must be. It's a joke. That is an absolute joke. Right, all that aside then, I think it's time to go for a drive in the I-8. Very exciting. I've never even sat in one of these before, so let's go. Right, let's fire up then. Let's get these doors down. There really isn't anything in this price bracket. This car being 46 odd grand. Let's fire up. Ooh, the last time I heard that noise was in my i3s. Who remembers that? No, go away, shush. I've got to say, I'm a little bit hot, so apologies if I'm a sweaty mess. Okay, so all very standard in here, off the bat. Into drive mode, and we're creeping already. Get off. All very standard at the moment. It feels just like a normal car. Relatively timid on turn on. I've been told to take it to the seaside. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> My first time in Cumbria and I'm just booting around here in an I8. Lovely stuff. So initial impressions then, it's very, very comfortable. It's very definitely a BMW. The guys did say, if you drive it normally, then you've obviously got the three cylinder turbocharged 1.5 litre, 228 brake horsepower engine, kind of just pootling you along, use a little bit of electric, and there's not really uh, a huge song and dance. However, everything changes when you knock it in to sport mode. So if you knock the lever left, everything goes red here, and you can feel the throttle response pick. <laughs> You can feel the throttle response pick up. I don't want to get arrested my first time in Cumbria, so I'm going to behave myself slightly on these uh, residential streets. But I think for £46,000, with this kind of mileage on it, this car has done 30 odd thousand miles. I don't know what else you can get that would cause as much chaos or has this level of tech in it. I'm just going to calm it down just whilst we cruise on down to the coast because we've been told there's some really nice roads up here. I don't know what else you can get for that. I really don't. It's like carbon tubbed. You literally get over a carbon sill when you get in. It's like a McLaren. You've got the carbon tub, you've got the doors, you've got the performance, which is four low fours to 60, 160, 170 miles an hour. And actually crucially, and not something that I've ever really cared about, but now I do care about it a little bit, is you can happily hoof about like a bit of a prat in this thing and get 45 miles to the gallon which is unheard of in this day and age really and it's absolutely crucial particularly as fuels are around two pounds a litre that is something you'll definitely definitely see the benefit from very very quickly the other thing as well to bear in mind on this car is if you're young the insurance i've been told on these is nowhere near as bad as you might think it is. It's 369 brake horsepower in total. So I think that's about 228 brake horsepower from the petrol engine and about 113 brake horsepower um, from the electric engine. So all in all, it's 369. I don't know that maths actually adds up, but it's relatively low powered on paper for the pace and for the looks and kind of the, what you actually get. And the other thing, rather embarrassingly, I call myself a car guy, I didn't realise, and I did not know this, it's got four seats. I actually didn't know the i8 had four seats. I know that's probably going to be something that annoys a lot of you, but I didn't know that. They're actually not bad sized either. There's not a seat in the middle. You've obviously just got a speaker there, but that's good. That's a lot of things rolled into one. That's really, really good. And the other boring point probably to make about this car is uh, benefit and kind tax is probably relatively low on this car because of the emissions. I don't know how true that is, but something definitely worth bearing in mind on that topic as well. Right, let's get in sport mode then because we've got some country lanes here. That's a really, really strange sensation. I like it. You've got paddles here as well. so. You can change down like in a normal car, not like a usual kind of electric car where it doesn't have gears and you can't change and it's all awful and weird like a go-kart. This is actually proper car-like. It sounds good as well. 
I think there's an element of artificial noise into the cabin, I don't know. Sounds good. Why have I not driven one of these before? This is sick. There's a really cool like sci-fi kind of element to it as well. I think these are mega. I can't actually believe that this is a 2014 car. It feels like a brand new car. And obviously with your infotainment here as well, I know you can do kind of like Apple CarPlay upgrades on them, I believe. Um, so even if the infotainment right now in its current guise isn't up to date, I believe you can get software updates for those as well. So that is definitely something I would be doing in this car. But for 46 bags, this is cash. This is actually cash. It's a hell of a car for the money. I think this is one of those cars that BMW didn't really make a huge amount of money on. I think this was just kind of a, a demonstration of what they could do. Uh, and I made no secret of the fact I absolutely loved my i3s. I thought that was an amazing car. I just think this thing's brilliant. You do have quite a sensible amount of luggage space in the back as well. You've got a kind of like a folding little glass flap. I'm very happy in here. I'm very, very, very happy. I think this is brilliant. And I don't know why people don't rave about these more. I think these are kind of, and if you know, you know, and if you've driven one, you get it. But if you don't, you don't really get it. And you think, oh, it's just sort of electric supercar type thing. This is mega. I get used to this. I might actually look for, I might have a chat with Matt actually about this. See what you can do. What I do love as well, you look out of the wing mirror, sorry, I just get distracted by stuff. You look out the wing mirror here and you can see that kind of mad aero, like flying buttress kind of vibe where the air kind of scoops around at the back there. It's all you can see out the mirror there. It's so cool. I'm genuinely really impressed. But BMW don't pay me to be nice. They've never paid me for anything. I don't think they ever will. So, um, and I'm relatively vocal about a lot of what they do. You know, not always positive. So I'm not being nice about this for the sake of it. I actually do think this is brilliant. I think this is a really interesting, clever, and cool place to put the money. Did I think that maybe five years ago or even when they came out? I don't think I did. I think this has been a grower. Listen to that. That's so cool. And from the outside, yeah, you got a bit of grunt from the outside as well. Don't forget that three cylinder engine is from a Mini, it's a 1.5 litre petrol turbocharged three cylinder engine. So you don't expect it to sound good, but it actually does. I don't know what BMW you've done. That is super cool. This place is so nice. If you're ever up north and you fancy a jolly, come past, come and say hello to Matt and the, and the guys. Take a look at their cars. Come for a little breeze around here. I'm in a place called Rampside. If anyone's ever been here, I don't know how pleasant it is. It's cash here. It's so pleasant. I mean, there's now a hoodlum. I mean, there's now a hoodlum in an I-8, but what a lovely place. I'm gonna park up, I think. Right then, we're gonna leave things here. Thank you so much for watching. That is now that before I melt into a puddle. A huge thank you to the guys at Matt Johnson Prestige. Make sure you're following them over on Instagram because there'll be a giveaway very soon as well. And make sure you also go check out the charitable cause we spoke about earlier. I'll leave the links to that below as well. It'd be great to see as many of you getting involved with that as possible. For now, for myself, BMW i8, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all very soon.